Nigeria. Every politician in Nigeria is hoping. They live on hope. They feed on it that he must get an appointment one day. They told him without missing words. It was only myself, Tokumba Afikuyomi, and uh, maybe uh, there is a man, Ralph, I can't remember his name now, he was one of the chieftains, that said, ha, ah, we are in trouble. Once you take the appointment, then you've lost your mandate. But trust me, if we want to learn from history, everyone that took that appointment, what happened to them? These stories are very intriguing. And <laughs> you, you read the papers today mm -hmm. and... It's almost a soup opera every day in the papers. Mm -hmm. Nothing has really changed, if, if possibly even worse as it is today. Because, because what is still happening is what he has alluded to, the mentality of oh, it is our time take your own share. come and let, That was simply what happened. I mean, at the end of the... Um, Tony Aneni remains the only human, the only party leader in history whose party won, an, and I'm talking of human history now, whose party won an election and he willingly let go of the mandates, just like that. Why? Because he was offered something. Come, let us eat. So we have to get rid of that mentality of bear kindly. Until we change that, we're not moving anywhere. I don't know. It looks like we're, we all agree that we're not moving. And we all agree that things are the same. So, solutions. I don't know. What are we, what are we supposed to do now? Are we, you said we should try and speak up more. Is force an option? No, it's more, it's more than that, Ebuka. Definitely more than that. Uh, my own prescription, and it is nothing new, we prescribe it even at that time, is that when you have situations like this, if you look at South Africa, even when Mandela came out, I mean, a lot of those people who kept him in jail, they were alive. He didn't kill them. He didn't do anything. We have seen that this mafia group, they are probably more powerful than us. It's obvious. And... They, are, they spread across all the parties. They are not just in PDP or in <laughs> your party. Spread, as well, they spread across <laughs> all parties. Okay, my party is one of the best. I mean, NCP. That's why we are small. You see? Quickly, are you joining? So, the, are you joining the opposition I'm coalition? Join, you see, are I'm you going to be joining I'm them? I'm not a prostitute. You see, that's the point I try to make. I left labor. I went into labor hoping that we can use the platform of labor to change Nigeria. Look at bring workers together. I had even gone for the British Labour Party. To tell them to please assist us in formulating a welfare program for Nigeria. You see, but trust me, Nigeria is not right for all that theory right now. That's, <laughs> a, that's an ideal. Utopia, what they will call utopia. But, you see, what I'm even saying is, let us manage what we have. In manage what we have, let us have what I always call a star-studded cabinet. A shadow cabinet. Where you can have a Donald Duke, where you can have a Fashola, where you can have a Nasir Rufai, where you can have all the sequence, all these people, and bring them together. Are these people that we have seen and they have given us hope? Is it because at the end of the day, we're talking about hope here? You see, there are only two options when it comes to governance it's either you go democratic or there will be a dictatorship. So, for as long as we want to practice democracy, we still have to work with the, with the same people who are in the system. Like he said, the chairman of SDP at that time is, I'm sure he will be 80 any time from now. They are still the ones controlling our affairs. But if you go to Britain, you look at David Cameron, you look at Nick Clegg, you look at Ed Miliband, and all these guys. What every party does is to go and bring their best materials. It's like playing football. If you don't field your best materials, you will lose. What we're doing again is that we have, I listened to your poet who spoke before me, and that's why I took him on, that look, and we don't have such characters. We, there is nothing you want that God has not given Nigeria. Nobody can tell me today, I've interacted with presidents all over the world. I can tell you they don't have two words. There is no rocket science about this thing. It can be done, and we have people who can do it. It is now up to us to bury ourselves. That's why I've already declared, 2015, I'm not contesting any election because it will be a bloody waste of time. But let us now agree amongst ourselves. Who are the people who want to put forward? They may not be saints. There is no country in the world governed by saints. Not even the Vatican. Trust me. But we can gather our best materials and we can make use of such material. It doesn't matter where they come from. We have them. When we're playing football, nobody complains that you have more evil on the field <laughs> than you're back. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, if they complain, they will, but when they score, we all clap. <laughs> yes. I, just very quickly now, so because we have to wrap up from what he said. Now, he said he's not going to contest any 15. No, that's no. a bloody waste of time. <laughs> what does, how does that make you feel? That, I mean, what, what are we then bothering? No, what I'm saying, I just, the reason I said that is that I would rather we all team up. You see, if I'm suggesting that we all team up, I must make the sacrifice. It's about, it's about sacrifice. I want others too to make that sacrifice. They know the right people who can win elections, they know the right people who can change Nigeria, but because you want to be president, he wants to be vice president, this one wants to be somebody, so they cannot agree. I am saying, me, I have made the sacrifice in advance, and I will support whoever we all collectively agree to support. Kudos for that, yeah. sir. Quickly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's, that's the point. The reason, the, the, reason the, um, the opposition did not do well in the last election was because they couldn't come together on time come together on time. By now, or at, at the latest, by the end of this year, we should know who the unified opposition is presenting as a candidate. If we don't know by the end of this year, forget it. No, the end of this year is too oh. far. <laughs> I think that's wraps up the truth. But before I go, someone at, on Twitter before the show came on asked told me to tell you that why not run for Senate instead of President? Because it's easier to make change from the legislature it, as against the It is the not true. Is he... Ask Abiola, ask Chifolufalaye, I worked for both of them before I did mine. And I can tell you the reason. People ask me this question every day. They call my wife, tell your husband to go to the Senate. You see, the person who's going to change Nigeria is not going to... You don't need a multitude. It's one man. And that one man, like Abiola used to put, he said, if you want to know if a fish is bad, smell the head. If the head is bad, then the whole body is gone. If you like have the best Senate in the world, you will not have them because the Nigerian president is the most powerful president in the world. Until you get that number one right, you are going nowhere. And all I want to do is to work from that level. I'm not going to go to the Senate. Like I said, I have a job. I've been to Abuja only once in over two years. Only once. I don't have any business going to Abuja. Thank you very much. We can do it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I think the news from there is that the change has to happen from the top. That's what about them. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you come back here again when we ask you to. When we come back, we'll have a screen device in the house.